be sure to share. I am here with my good friend, Nikki Harvey. She's my BFF and beauty expert, and we used to work together on Game of Homes. Yes. And today we're talking about her top five wedding beauty tips to keep you looking fresh and fabulous on your special day. All right, let's get started, because I want to show you how we got this look. Okay, let's go. I am so freaked out from having a destination wedding. Yes. And it is very, very humid, and I'm talking 99% humidity. For a flawless wedding day complexion, it's all about longevity of makeup. Start with a primer. I usually choose a color stay product for foundation. Apply a light veil and set it very, very lightly with powder. You're gonna get probably a good 10 hours worth of wear That's before anything really starts to sweat off, per se. You want it to just look like a bumped up version of yourself. Right. You don't want to look, you know, <laughs> too different than you too do on a, on a regular basis so your husband to be isn't shocked when you walk down the aisle. We are gonna go ahead after this with you know, uh, highlight and shadow, so some nice contouring. Ooh, fun, and Kim Kardashian uh, contour? Yeah, we'll go quite that, <laughs> quite that intense. Now I'm just starting with a little bit of contour. Okay. I'm using one of my um, new favorite products and it's called Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It's a face sculpt and highlight by Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh. You know, what you wanna do is apply the bronzer to, you know, your cheek hollows, your temples, you know, your jawline the sides and the tip of your nose. Now is this one color or two colors? So this is one to start. So this is the dark, okay. darker shade to create, you know, the depths in the face, and the <laughs> hollows of your cheeks. And then we'll go back in with the, the glow part, which is the highlighter to the top of your, top of your nose and your cheekbones more importantly, because this mm -hmm. is where the light really hits you and adds that nice, nice shape to your face. My best tip is either to use a nice big fluff brush mm -hmm. or to use a sponge and just to almost use it as an eraser and go say if you created hard lines in the hollows of your cheeks, mm -hmm. just to go in and just lightly blend them out. Now brows are the next thing that we'll do to uh, to shape the eye? shape your eyes. Okay. And you are a master of your own brows. I am, I, I actually did my own little uh, eyebrow tutorial. And Love you guys it. can watch that video right after you watch this video. So I'm gonna tackle that next. Eyebrows are done, woo woo. Yay, they okay. look perfect. On your wedding day, we really want your eyes to sparkle. We're gonna start the eyes, the eyeshadow. We're gonna start with an amazing product by MAC. It's a Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's really important to note about this, and just get you to close your eyes, is that this is going to help your eyeshadow stay on and be crease free. Oh yay. For probably, I'm going to say, in a humid climate, eight to 10 hours. No way. The way to use these products is to use your fingers because I feel like it gives a nice even blend. Using highlight under the brow bone, some contour in the crease, a little pop of color on the lid is really important. You can go in with a full base color, mm -hmm. which is just a neutral that can be your highlighter as well. I tend to, with the, with the paint pots, just go under, in under the brows first, in the corner of the eye a little bit, and then continue with my lid color from there. So we're just starting all over the lid, and for your eye shape, I really like the look that you and I have done before of just a gradation of color. So starting darker at the lash line, mm -hmm. and then just pulling the color up, and then we'll blend it out through the middle of the eye. And it just gives this gorgeous depth to your eyes, a little bit of lift. I'm just going in with kind of like a medium, uh, brown and I'm just going to sort of blend the top of that color application right there into the highlight Okay, this is a great uh, amount of you know eyeshadow color to start mm -hmm. Because it's really important to get the liner on and the lashes and then judge the intensity again today I'm using a fluid line when you do this go back and forth a lot of these great gel based products allow you to do so so that's what sometimes makes them a little bit more user-friendly than say a true liquid another tip for staying power for eyeliner is to, after you've applied your, your gel eyeliner, use an angle brush and use another dark eyeshadow. Maybe it's black, maybe it's a deep purple, maybe it's a deep brown, mm -hmm. and go over it. Soften out the line, because again, for bridal makeup, I think it's really important to have soft edges. Mm -hmm. I'm going back in with the angle brush and I'm just softening the top of that eyeliner. I wanna make sure that it goes right from the corner of your eye right out to where you want to have your line end and just have a look down here because you don't want any sort of blank space in the inner part of your eye. I want to be able to make them grow. I pray every night and they don't. <laughs> <laughs> here are my quick steps. Measure and custom fit. 
and we notice that these are just a tiny bit long. So just have a look and gauge it. Start by snipping a little bit off and then just measure them one more time before you go in with the application. I use Duo eyelash adhesive because they, they make it in a dark tone, which is amazing. I mean, it essentially dries clear, but sort of clear dark. So what you're gonna do is just pick up some of your Duo eyelash adhesive with an orange stick. You could use a toothpick or uh, some people use their tweezers and just go back and forth and coat the eyelash strip with the glue. Next thing I do is just to give it a little, little bend and that let, and the air gets at the glue and makes it a little bit tacky, which is perfect for applications. From the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner, wiggle them in against your natural lash line until you get the right amount of stick and let them dry long enough before you add the mascara. Who doesn't love waking up looking <laughs> like a soap opera star? Exactly, I woke up like this. Yeah. <laughs> Remove any eyeliner that touched the bottom, any fallout of eyeshadow, and any little bits of glue that might have caught on the bottom while you're applying the eyelashes. Such a good tip because I find that my fiance, who sees me every single day, um, is constantly like, there's something under your eye. Why do you even wear makeup? There's just all this weird stuff under your eye. <laughs> Aw, he just loves you all natural. He does. He actually says that he likes my freckles. Are complete. Love the minus eyes. Minus a little bit of mascara that we'll use to marry your natural lashes with your false lashes. That also increases the staying power so that nothing sort of pulls off if you happen to be dabbing your eyes at the wedding. So I always like to do one little coat of mascara just to make them look really natural and to marry them up. I love it. So I'll get you to look up with your eyes. A bit of creamy concealer. We do a little celebrity application where we just pull it down a little bit just to open up the face here and to make it look really light on the inside. Because concealer generally does have a tendency to crease. Mm -hmm. So it's best just to use only as much as you need. A tip for concealer is at the very outer corner of our eyes, our skin is very thin right here. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to sometimes just add a little extra dab of concealer right here to sort of lift the eyes up and give that brightness out the outer corners because particularly at a wedding, we want that sort of bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, <laughs> wide open, in yeah. love, doe-eyed kind of look. <laughs> I'm so, learning so much. Yay, tips, tips, tips. Let's, Let's get cheeky. Little, so get cheeky with it. Uh, for me in that gorgeous, happy bride smile. So what I like to do for application of cheeks, dust it across the apples and kind of go up in the Nike swoosh. Nike swoosh. Kind of pattern and then soften the top. And that's where that light's gonna hit it, the photographer's light, as well as, you know, the incandescent lights of the evening. You just reminded me that I still mm. have to find a photographer. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know any yeah, good photographers? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, I have okay. the dress, I have yes. the veil, I have yes. the shoes, got the makeup down. You're, so, you're three quarters else? there. You're three quarters <laughs> there. <laughs> For a perfectly kissable wedding day list, it's all about layering. Start with a little bit of foundation around your natural lip line. Draw on the lip line you desire all over your lips. Layer with your lipstick, a little bit of highlighting lip gloss in the center, and you're pretty for the party. Er, my gird. <laughs> so beautiful. Yay! Fresh face, fresh face. I'm wedding day ready. Gosh. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoyed all of Nikki's amazing tips. If you want to get in touch with Nikki, make sure to check out her Instagram. I'm leaving the link in the description box below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Simply Share Share. And guess what to get to the airport, right? Gotta get going. Oh, airport away. Oh, lovely girl. Oh, love seeing you. You're coming back. Yes. All right. Thank you. Simply Thanks for Nikki. <laughs> that's your new, that's going to be your new YouTube oh, channel. Oh, I like it, I like it. Okay. Right. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Are you in? Are you in? Yeah, okay.